Okay, so this is the taffy. Okay, so this is Le Good morning and welcome to a week in my life. I thought I've actually never done one of these. I thought I would vlog every single day of the week, Monday through to Sunday, just so you can see like a realistic week in my life of someone who's moved from the UK to Canada, what that entails. It's currently going into spring, so the sun's starting to come out. So I kind of come out of hibernation. January, February, and a bit of March is kind of like snowy season. So I don't tend to go out much and explore that. That's my time to like relax. Um, I'm a crazy Christmas in year but I thought I would take you guys along with me this week and I'm so excited. So, I do work, um, so it's also very realistic this week. I work part-time, if not a little bit more, um, especially in the winter seasons, and then I do social media on the side too. And also I do dance classes and yeah, there's a lot that goes on to a week. So my Instagram is always, and TikTok and YouTube is always like the highlights of my life. And I'm only ever filming when I'm doing something fun and exciting. So I thought, why not just film an average day? I'm an average girl who moved to a different country. I have a job. So it is Monday morning. Every Monday, I probably get up around 9 or 9.30 a.m. Jake goes to work for 8 a.m. every Monday. So he normally wakes me up at 8, say goodbye, and then I go back to sleep for an hour. And then as soon as I wake up, I text him saying, have a good day. That's literally like what I do every Monday morning. And I do, I do go to work on a Monday, but I don't go till 1.30, 2. Um, so I have the whole morning. And Monday's a good Monday day to like catch up on work i don't like doing it on a sunday i don't like starting planning on a sunday because sunday is like the refresh day where i'm cleaning chilling relaxing watching tv and just be a sloth on the sofa as monday i wake up it's the start of a fresh week i start planning and things like that so i wake up every morning 9 9 30 today i woke up at 9 30 i was so tired i also have my wisdom teeth coming through on this side i've had them removed on this side but this side is coming through and i feel like a baby that's teething like i'm was sweating last night i was so tired i feel ill so that is not good but this morning i wake up and get myself a coffee normally jake makes my coffees every other morning but i do mine on a monday and it doesn't taste as good i don't know what he does but he's so good at making coffee so let's start the morning let's go Okay, so this is where I sit most Monday mornings, like having my coffee, looking out and um, editing. So most mon Monday mornings, I need to get a video up for Monday and Wednesday or Monday and Friday. I've been really pushing two videos a week since um, the beginning of the year. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's just started snowing. I was about to say how gorgeous it is outside today and then I can just see little whites of coming down oh my god let's not hope it snows today yeah so most mondays i sit here with my cup of coffee and i edit like i said i am trying to get two videos up a week if not more i remember during covid i shouldn't say that word i don't want to jinx anything but i used to upload monday wednesday and friday and i really enjoyed that and then in the last two years i want to say i kind of put youtube on a back burner and i really pushed tiktok and instagram and basically i just want to do all three and like separate myself between them so instead of uploading like four tiktoks a day which what i was doing i'm doing one tiktok a day one instagram a day and then hopefully three videos or two videos of youtube a week um, now i have the flexibility with my 
new job and being at home more to be able to edit and stuff and getting into a routine um it's definitely manageable ignore my washing in the background too i told you it's going to be a realistic vlog and it is so i normally sit here for about I want to say two hours. I normally get here about 9.30 and I probably stay until 11.30 before I need to get in the shower for work. And during that time, I'm editing videos, looking into emails, emailing people, uploading a TikTok and a reel and also preparing them for the week too. So putting them in the drafts, ready to post and write in the captions and stuff so okay so it is currently now 11 o'clock it's about to reach 11. i have uploaded one tiktok one instagram i have put in my drafts of instagram two videos and i don't have any for tiktok so i really need to film some this week so i've made that a priority in my calendar um i'm about 30 minutes early but basically my laptop is dying it literally sounds like it's about to fly off into space and it takes me ages for the video for the clips to upload into the movie software that i edit it with so i've done half of it and it's really annoying me so i uploaded the other half and while it's like rendering like when it's uploading i thought i would have a shower now and it will save some time because i do have to go to work today also i did want to point out I don't tend to have breakfast every single morning. No one come for me. I just don't get hungry in the morning. And once I've had my coffee, I really do not want any food. So I normally like have lunch quite early at like 12, 12.30 before I go to work. And then I have a hour break at work at five o'clock. And then that's when I would take like a big dinner. So when I come home at 10, um, I finish about 9 30 10 so when i get home i don't have to eat because i hate eating that late so i'm gonna have a quick shower now and then by the time i come out my videos should should <laughs> be uploaded and we should be good to go yeah it is definitely time to wash Okay, so it is now just gone 12. I have to leave for work in an hour, hour and a half. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Jake sometimes comes home for lunch and that's around 12 too. So I'm gonna see if he walks through the door in a second. I don't really know what I fancy. Like I normally make a sandwich or something. I do have a crusty roll. The date with the 19th, this one's out. Oh, tomorrow. So we could have this and have a tuna and sweet corn. Crusty roll. I know tuna and sweet corn is definitely a UK thing. I see it all over TikTok and I think it's weird, but I absolutely love tuna and sweet corn, especially in a French stick. So once we've done this, I need to do my makeup. My video is just downloading now, so then I can upload it. I only got one video done today, which is fine because I'm off for a full day on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, so I have time to edit again before the Friday. I think this is probably the last day I could have ate this because it's so, it's getting dry. And then tuna and sweet gum. So I have Sensation Crisps that I brought back from the UK. I'm still editing. Well, it's just uploading now. Got my tuna, sweet corn, mayo, cucumber sandwich. Jake isn't home yet. Let's have a look where he is if he is coming home. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie, on a Monday at like 12.30, I'll have a 30 minute snooze, but I feel good today. <laughs> and I also have my Yeti with fruit and barley in. Okay, so it's half 12, finished my lunch, uploaded my video, and now it is time to do my makeup. I don't normally wear a lot of makeup to work. Um, just today, I look extremely tired so i think <laughs> i should make myself look a little bit more presentable and now i mix a few different foundations because i'm extremely pale right now i normally wear double wear but this is a very tanned one so at the minute i'm using clinique 
super balanced makeup tint and I mix it with Rimmel Kind and Free. This one and this one together kind of gives me the right shade. My face is really, really dry at the minute, so I try not to put too much on it. Jake, there's sweet corn in the fridge. Okay, Jake has just come home for work for his lunch break. He has an hour lunch, so he likes to come home. How's work? Dead. Um, and then I just use Hide the Blemishes Rimmel. Um, I used to use a different concealer and I love it and I couldn't find it again. So I'm just trying a few different ones at the minute. Okay. And that's my face. I am now going to go to work and then I will be home at about 9.30pm. And that is my Monday morning so far. I'm back where I left you yesterday. So basically I got home from work last night at actually quite early at like 9, 8, 9, 10 p.m. Like 10 past nine. And I literally watched Celeb Big Brother, had a packet of crisps and went to bed. And then I woke up this morning at 9 a.m. again. And that seems to be my time I wake up every morning. And today both me and Jake have the whole day off, which is nice. So normally we do have Tuesdays off, it's just how it works in our routine. Um, but the weather is not great. It's trying to snow, it's freezing cold, which sucks because we were gonna do a hike today and now we can't. So we've got some errands to run this morning, which I'll bring you guys along with us. Um, we might be booking a campsite today for summer. So we'll let you know about that. And also I have downs tonight, which I will do a little montage tonight about. But this morning it is now 10 a.m. Here's Jake. Hi. I'm doing a weekly vlog, so I'm vlogging every day so they see a realistic week in my life. A.m. Jake's about to jump in the shower. I'm about to do some makeup. And we're gonna go out. We gotta go to Costco. We gotta go get an engagement card for our friends. I've just got loads of little errands. I've got to pay my phone bill, but my it's not letting me, so I have to go into the bow store. Um, so, so I'm just here. I've got my laptop. I'm watching a vlog while I get ready. It like motivates me to get ready. Good morning, Jake's with me here. Hi. <laughs> we just had to film a brand deal. Well, not really a brand deal, but like a gifted thing from Tim Hortons. So I have my breakfast wrap. This is a farmer's wrap. It's got like bacon, hash brown, egg, and it's probably cold because I've been filming for like 10 minutes. And Jake's just been my supportive boyfriend over here. Yeah, I've just got a cup of tea. And it started to snow. So this morning I've come and done this. So this is what I do some mornings on my day off. I have to catch up with social media work, but it's all done nice and early. So we've got the rest of the day together. Um, we have got to go now to chapters and then we've got to go to the pen to pay my phone bill. Okay, we're at our first stop of the day. I actually love chapters for home stuff. Yeah, it is nice. It's expensive. I, I don't know what to compare it to for the UK. Um, there is a Waterstones. Guys, I've just come across jelly cats and I want one so bad. I didn't realize how expensive they are. Yeah. Oh my God, look at this tennis ball. A baseball but I think I'm gonna go for the pretzel the eggs are super cute okay I didn't buy a jelly cat I've been going on about a jelly cat to Jake for the longest time he didn't even know what they were but they're all over TikTok I didn't realize how expensive they are I know they're an investment but I didn't realize how expensive they are so I've decided I'm only gonna get them for like special occasions so for example, when I hit 10K on YouTube, I'll get myself a jelly cat. When I turn 30, I'll get a jelly cat. I'm not just gonna buy, randomly buy one, but there was some really cute ones. The pretzel, I loved. I like the, the, burger. the baseball was cute. Jake liked the burger, but yeah, I absolutely love them. But a huge investment. I'm not just gonna spend on a random Tuesday to buy one. We did pick up a card and now we're going to LCBO. Funny story, let me tell you. So this here in Canada, supermarkets 
have these outside so walmart zers like they have an outdoor garden center during yeah. summer well it's not even during summer it's, it's like spring, spring it's and it actually ends before summer but we and jake used to live around this area and when we walked to this supermarket one day this popped up and we thought it was a covid center <laughs> <laughs> We did. Well, it looks like Do you one. remember? Yeah. It was during COVID, like literally four years today, near enough. Yeah. We literally came down here and was like, oh my God, they're setting up like booths for COVID testing. And then little did we know a few months later that all those flowers there, because to us, this is very weird that they just set up a garden center for like three months. We are now home and it is absolutely freezing outside. We just popped to my friend's house. She has a new puppy and is engaged. So we got her um, some champagne and a card. And we just sat there for about an hour, just looking at the puppy, so cute. And now we have just got home and we are actually gonna chill because the weather is awful. Normally, if it's dry, we will go for a walk on our day off or a hike. And I really wanted a barbecue today, but the weather is saying no. The thing about Canada in March and April it goes sunny one day at 20 degrees and then raining on another day and it's like the worst you can't plan anything so unfortunately we have come in i'm making a hot water bottle i'm gonna sit on the sofa and start looking at camping trips and see if i can book anything and i'll tell you guys if we ended up booking something but i can't believe how much it's snowing today okay it is much later now it is 5 30 pm so i have to leave for dance in like 40 minutes my wisdom teeth are really hurting. I'm gonna have to take some tablets. No. They it's hurt. Horrible. Yeah. So Jake has just got the air fryer on, on the kettle because tonight we are being lazy. We've been chilling. We've been chilling in separate rooms. Jake's been in the bedroom watching Suits. He's addicted to Suits. And I was in the front room watching The Circle and we both had like an hour nap too. But some exciting news. We have just booked our first camping trip of the year. Um, for my 30th. I'm going to do a separate video of all of the vacations that we've booked this year. Most of them will be camping ones, but we've booked our first oh, one. And now it means that we are ready to go camping. Well, not really, it's snowing outside, but I'm excited. And the trailer's not even, it's somewhat ready, but not ready. Really. Not ready. So I've got about 30 minutes and we're being very lazy for dinner tonight. We've just chucked in some chicken wings. We're not overly hungry but I do need to eat before I go to dance. So the chicken wings are in. I'm gonna make some squash, squash, and um, I need to get ready for dance. So I teach on a Tuesday night, a dance class, like I help teach, and one of the girls has felt injured and the show is literally in like two months time. So they've asked me to fill in now i'm not the fittest person right now yes i used to dance professionally but i don't say that i'm a great dancer and when i filled in last week oh my god i died so i have to fill in again tonight and for the show so i just need to get back fit so that is what's going on right now today has actually been a very chilled day off normally we do do errands together because we're not off together all the time um it has been more chilled than normal i would say i love hibernating so i've got my leotard can't believe i bought this like 10 years ago when i used to dance and it still fits me crazy so let's get ready for dance good morning and happy thursday you last saw me on tuesday night just before i went to dance class i got back from dance super late because one of my really good friends i dance with afterwards we literally sat and talked for like two hours so i didn't get home till like 10 p.m and then i kind of just crashed and burned when i got in um and then the next day which was yesterday i had work um, I had work 9.30 till 6 and then me and Jake went on a mini shop, made herself a really nice dinner and had like a date night and watched a movie. We watched The Shooter, it was so good. But I thought to you guys, it wouldn't really be fun to see. So I am skipping forward now to Thursday. It's both me and my Jake, it's both me and Jake's day off again. Just to let you know, it doesn't always happen like that. This week, our days off fell on the exactly the same days, which is so nice. My days off are normally the same every week. And like I said, on Monday, I did like half a day. And then Tuesday, I was off. Wednesday, I'm in for the full day. Thursday, I'm off. And then 
Friday is half a day again, so tomorrow I will go in later on, and then Saturday is the whole day. So that's kind of how my weeks work. Sometimes the days do change if someone's on vacation or something, if I have to work more hours in a week, but that is it. But today is Thursday, I have got my comfies on, I've literally just got a hoodie and some track pants, because we have to go and film quite a few TikToks, I am quite far behind. Um, I have just run out of all of my England content and I didn't pre-do anything after that because when I got back from England, I worked nine days straight. Um, it doesn't happen like that very often, but I didn't wasn't prepared for it. So I didn't have time to normally set up some. So I ran out of England content and now I've got to do some more. So we're gonna go to a few places like Bass Pro, Walmart, Costco, we actually do need to do a mini shop here. Jake's here just waiting for me. We're gonna go treasure hunt too. No, we're not going treasure hunt. Yeah, we've got a few run around things to do. I'm gonna obviously take you with me, but I'm just kind of going to places and vlogging and TikToking. Um, some new content basically so it might be boring for you guys but it's what i do on my day off i say they're days off but they're not really days off because i'm working for social media and i try and get ahead as much as possible so i look comfy okay so we are at walmart and it is trying to snow so there's a few things we want to get because there's stuff on offer we actually don't need to do a shop there's just some fresh stuff we need yeah fresh stuff we need and there's some stuff on offer like mushrooms that are normally so expensive so we're gonna run in here now and it's snowing and sunny today it's weird i don't understand like it's snowing there but it's sunny there yeah i don't understand mushrooms are on sale 94 cents sharon, sharon. <laughs> these are the onions jake Get a bag of these. Are these bad boys? What the hell? Doesn't matter, you cut off them. Okay, I need some English squash. Oh, they have black print here. Black print, I think. We need some Canadian stuffing, chicken. Two of those. Jake tried to. Try these British sausages. Well, I think they're British, they look. They look like British sausages. The crisps are on offer. Really oh, Look how windswept I am, this is crazy. So shopping, checked, just so you know, we normally don't get that many crisps, chips, whatever you want to call them, but Ooh. it's because they're on offer for $2.77. Chips are normally like nearly $5 a bag, so we don't get them. So because they were $2.47, we was like, do you know what? We're gonna treat ourselves to four bags. We're not gonna eat them all at once. No way, we never get them, do we? No. <laughs> but that cost $45 and we're topped up. We've got some good meals for this week coming. We've got curry, mush mushroom curry, sweet and sour chicken, pasta. Like we've got a good bunch of food now. Yeah. Happy, high five. Now Jake wants to go and get a Baskin Robbins. Do you not want to get your chair? Milkshake. No, I'm not going over there today. Okay. We'll go there another day. Um, basically, no. I've recently worked with Baskin Robbins and they sent us. <laughs> this you want to go fill it with ice cream and basically you can go and fill it with ice cream and they get do really good milkshakes there i don't know if i want one or not my belly's a bit upset and i don't know why i don't have some hot dog from costco earlier i think we just take a big tub home with us and not get a milkshake yeah okay high five okay we are back from outer space isn't that a song so you're back yeah there's yeah there's it is there's what who's there's there's sings there's that there's Go on, go. Walk, Walk out the door. Don't turn, turn around now. now Cause you're not welcome, welcome anymore. I should have changed that stupid laugh. I should have changed that stupid laugh. I'm going to get it for you. It's my life, it's my life. Who sings it? Ben Midler. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. I, I would actually go. It is, do you know how I know what that song is? Track? No. Dance Map. PlayStation 2. Oh. Survive. And on the survive, you have to go to the diagonals. I will survive. I will survive. Put this in the freezer. 
So I have my <laughs> Baskin Robbins take home Sunday with this that they got me. You can actually keep it in there and it's got spoons. Jake mentioned it's like for the beach or something. It's so cool. I recently worked with them, which is super fun and exciting. Actually my third brand this year I have worked with which actually is crazy because we're only in March and I've worked with three brands. I've worked with Genza, Tim Hortons and Baskin Robbins. So three brands down and it's the third month. And then we also did a little shop, like I said, in the car. It's stuff that was all on offer, so we had to get it. Oh, it's heavy. For lunch, I have been taking yogurts to work with me. Um, and I'm currently on my last three. I did get branded ones last time, but these were like $5 cheaper. So I ended up getting these. The carrots were 98 cents. And I love um, cutting these and putting them with dip. And we got this dip from Costco earlier. It's an onion, roasted onion one. So this will be nice to take as a lunch option. We ran out of squash. I brought back fruit and barley from the UK and I am out of it. So I had to get the Robinsons one, um, black room, but I do love black room. Cheese strings I take to lunch with me. These aren't called cheese strings here actually, they're just called marble. And then peppers, because I run out, these were not on offer, these are like $5. Um, onions were on sale for 98 cents, which is great because these are like normally 260 something and there's so many and we use onions for everything that we cook. And then Jake wanted to get these. They were $10 and there's 28 in there. So it's actually really good. And they're pork sausages, but he says they look like English pork sausages. So that's how we got that. Then we got some frozen veg. Now I never ever get frozen veg. I always get fresh veg to put in the um my meals and stuff but i'm doing sweet and sour chicken one day this week and that is exactly like all of the veg for the sweet and sour chicken so i just thought this was on offer for a dollar 28 so i'm just gonna pick it up it's also green giant as well and i love green giant veg so that's what i got We've completely run out of stuffing canadian stuffing and it was on sale like a dollar off for a dollar 24 so i picked up two of these Jake loves Canadian stuff in. We have this with like pie, chips, gravy, Everything. roast dinners. Like it's so quick and easy for a meal. So uh, I picked up two of those. Before Wednesday comes, before the new brochure hits, I might actually go back and get two more of these because we do like these and they're super cheap. And then Jake, bless you. Bless you. Jake has Actimals for breakfast. So we got some strawberry Actimals. And that is everything in that bag. Last bag, mushrooms, like I said, were like 98 cents. The reason why the mushrooms were, or a lot of stuff's on sale at the minute is because it's their 60th anniversary. Um, so this week we're gonna have pasta one night and curry one night with mushrooms. Uh, meat is super expensive in Canada. So we do actually have a lot of vegetarian meals and um, where we just cook with mushrooms instead of uh, meat. Jake got his cereal bars that he takes to work to snack on. His peppermint tea. He has a peppermint tea before bed most nights. Um, and then, like I said about the crisps, we picked up four bags of different flavours of Lay's because they were on sale for $2.77. And they are originally like $4.97. So they're $2 off. We never buy crisps. So we said, let's treat ourselves. And we got some really cool flavours. Um, so we're excited to eat that and that's everything we got and it came to like $45 so it wasn't bad at all I'll tell you what we forgot to get that I like the look of wow. the ham so I'm gonna put away all this now and then what we're gonna do tonight mister so you Jake is addicted to suits addicted every time we get home he like goes in a separate room and he's like I need to watch suits and I can't wait for it to be over how many seasons has it got I think nine and what season are you on now three Oh my god, I'm literally going to lose my boyfriend for such a long time. But anyway, I'm going to put this away and I'll catch up with you later. Okay, so I was editing for about an hour 
And then I remembered that tomorrow is not my half day. Tomorrow I'm up in at 9.30 to 6. And it's the day after that I'm in at 2 p.m. on Saturday. So that's kind of how it works. I have one 9.30 and then the day after I'll have my two o'clock shift. So that's how my weeks may work. I was just editing for an hour while Jake was watching Top Gear. I had my headphones on, so we were like sat in the same room, which is nice. Um, just how some company there motivates me to edit. Um, I feel like I'm doing quite well at the minute with editing and uploading. I'm really enjoying YouTube. Um, at one point, I wasn't enjoying it and I was just more focused on TikTok. And I think I'm seeing... It's hard. I love TikTok. It's got lots of short videos, but I can't show myself in them because in them, you're just thinking, what's going to go viral? No one really knows you properly. Like, it's just short videos of fun things. I don't know. It's hard to explain. As YouTube, I can sit and do an hour vlog and people are going to sit and watch it and they're going to know a lot more about me and I get to document my life more and I just enjoy it a lot more. So I have put my all in the last three weeks into YouTube and I hope you guys are seeing it because I'm uploading in twice a week, which is awesome. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop chatting about that now and I'm going to get in the bath because I need a bath and then I'm gonna have a shower straight after to wash my hair, but I just wanna relax. It is quite late though, it's like 8.30 p.m. and me and Jake were not hungry at all for dinner, which is very weird. I do like to cook a dinner when we are off, especially if I'm off, I like to cook a nice hearty, nice meal because I love cooking, but we weren't hungry because we had milkshakes, so we literally haven't ate. I said to him, when I get out of the bath, I'll probably have some cereal and a cup of tea. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna have a bubble bath. And if you watched my Sunday reset, which was, I uploaded that yesterday, but I filmed that last Sunday, you would have seen that I have new bath bombs. Um, I'm not gonna use one today. Instead, I'm gonna use bubble bath. I currently have this Radox open right now. I love Radox, I get them from England. But do like this one a lot, it's feel pampered. So I might have to open this one and use this one. So I'm gonna have a nice bubble bath and I'll see you afterwards. I've got some fresh pajamas ready out of the, the wash, which Jake got for me. Um, and then I'm gonna have a nice bubble bath. Okay, it is Friday evening. I last caught up with you last night. Um, I was editing. I don't even know where I left you off last night, but I had work all day today. I hope you can hear me. I've got a lot going on. <laughs> I had work all day today, I had a full day. Tomorrow was supposed to be a half a day, but I've been asked to come in to do a full day now, which I'm okay with, I will take that. I'm gonna move you over here, just in case that's really loud. Yeah, I've been asked to do a full day now, which is absolutely fine. I said yes, because I have no plans for tomorrow. And guys, can I just say, there was a snowstorm today, and it was snowing all day. And that's kind of why I have no plans for tomorrow. So I said yes to her. Um, I finished at six. I've got in the bath as soon as I got home and now I am just making dinner. Jake is on the clothes tonight. So um, he doesn't get home until 9, 9.30. So tonight I am making a sweet and sour chicken. I actually picked it up from the UK. Um, it looks so damn good. So I'm making that with some veggies in and some rice. I've just got the final of Big Brother run in the background. But this is kind of how like my midweeks run when I'm working. If I'm working a full day till six, then I will get home, have a bath, get straight in my pajamas or a shower if I need to wash my hair, get straight into my pajamas and then cook dinner and then just chill for the evening. I feel like on my days off are very not days off and I'm go, 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 filming, editing, so I feel like the days that I'm actually working for my part, for my full-time job, um, when I finish, I don't really want to be editing and things. Like I need that time to like down, like calm down and relax. Otherwise, I'll just be constantly working every day of the week, and it's just not fun. Then I don't enjoy it. So that's kind of how my weeks go. If I'm off from my full-time job, I, then I'm doing social media work. If I worked my full-time job, and then I've got the evening off, or I've got the morning off then i will like relax on those days but it's getting quite late because i was in the bath for such a long time sorry if i've got makeup everywhere today's the day that we cook frozen veg 
yeah let me know in the comments if you watch celebrity big brother uk i loved it louis walsh was great i'm just got it on and loud in the front room there so i can listen to it while i'm cooking <gasps> i forgot we picked this up from baskin robbins oh my god i'm definitely having that today 110 percent this is my wild friday night so wild <gasps> they're announcing the winner right now oh quick David won. That's who I wanted to win. Do you know what? I would absolutely love to do Big Brother. They do Big Brother in Canada, and I was thinking about applying for it, but I didn't. But I would love to do Big Brother. That would be great. And today is Sunday. So we are back at the beginning. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you will see Sunday is my chill and reset day. So it is currently 11 a.m. and I'm still in my pajamas. I'm on the sofa and I'm watching The Circle US. And I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. Um, Sunday, I really don't do anything apart from cleaning, doing any shopping I need to do and just literally relaxing. So I'm not gonna film today. Like I said, if you do wanna see what I do on a Sunday, I will leave the Sunday vlog down below that was released yesterday. But then that is a full week. I work, I edit, I shop and to be honest the weather turned out to be not great at the beginning of this vlog the weather was beautiful and I thought I'd be able to take you on hikes I thought I'd be able to take you out to local areas and it just so happened the realism came out it started to snow and I couldn't do anything so it was a very chatty vlog it's a very long vlog so if you've got to the end thank you so much if you've got to the end leave a little love heart down below so I can see that you're still here and if you enjoyed this, I will 110% do more. I actually really, really enjoyed it. And I'm actually sitting and editing it today. I know, just there, I know I said I don't edit on a Sunday and I relax, but I've been doing it bit by bit because it's such a long vlog that I didn't want to get to Monday and be like overwhelmed with it. So thank you so much if you're watching it. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And hopefully I can do more of these. But have a great week, guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.